I bet most of you have grown up with a traditional Christmas in your home, but times have changed. Come on, let's twist again. Let's do a Jenny Christmas feast with a twist. I bet your mom always used grilled pineapple with her gammon, because mine one did. And I'm actually quite tired of pineapple and gammon together, so this festive season I'm going to ring the changes and I'm going to do my gammon with some beautiful soft Turkish apricots that you will find in the Pat course range which is exclusive to checkers. What I'm going to do is take these Turkish apricots and stuff them with almonds and I'm going to poach them in syrup and we're going to serve them on the side but I'm also going to use them in my glaze. This gammon that I got from Checkers has been awarded the SA Chefs Association seal of approval so it's a very special piece of meat. You just take your knife and cut into the fat. To glaze it, we need some mustard. Then you're going to take a little drizzle of honey and just spoon this beautiful glaze on. Remember, your gammon is already cooked, so you don't want to overcook it, but you want to set your glaze. So I put it into the oven. When you can see it's starting to bubble, bring it out. And then just take a few of these apricots, just pop it over the top, stick it in the oven. And the minute that starts bubbling, take it out, serve it hot as it is, or just let it set, and it's delicious at room temperature. This is my second roast to my Christmas feast with a twist. It's a beautiful pork belly. It's going to cook nice and succulent and I think everybody wants a lovely sheet of crackling. And don't think that you can enhance the flavor by putting things like black pepper on it or paprika because that's just going to burn, okay? We're not doing Cajun. I normally just take the whole layer of crackling off, cook it separately, take my pork out and let it rest because it's important to rest meat and while that's happening I'm making my sauce so let me tell you exactly how to make this sauce it's got an Asian inspiration it's got ginger it's got soya sauce it's got honey I'm using prune because it's intense it's a lovely sweet flavor but the first thing we're going to do now is just show you how to serve it we take off our crackling just take the bone and remove it from the rib and then we start slicing into lovely thick slabs. You want nice mouthfuls of pork. And then I cook my sauce down so it's nice and nice and chunky. Now, it might not be the prettiest color, so we enrich it with some lovely fresh herbs. We're gonna just turn that into our sauce and spoon it over the top. It doesn't get better than that. And now for dessert, you might find this rather strange, but it's something I had in China and I just love it. This is a Chinese fruit soup and there's just a couple of elements to it. Some beautiful fresh fruit, you'll find all these lovely exotic fruits at Checkers. I make my jelly about three days before the time. Keep it well sealed in your fridge. Make sure you've got lots and lots of crushed ice. And thinking about all things chilled, it's not a bad idea to have a nice 10 year old tawny port on the side to sip alongside your dessert. All you need to do is just mix them up, some of these beautiful little blocks of jelly into it made from uh, condensed milk and then the ice this is going to keep it chilled it's going to be absolutely delicious we haven't completely forgotten our Christmas tradition all we've done this time is a little bit of the twist if you can't remember all the recipes all you have to do at the end of this episode is click on the link to download view and print the full recipes so enjoy your feast with checkers and I Merry Christmas